synthetic division compared to long division synthetic division is for dividing binomial only so what is binomial do you remember the word polynomial the prefix poly p-o-l-y poly means that the function or the equation has multiple terms binomial so x minus k is a binomial the prefix by means two term if i have divided by x then the x itself is a monomial mon means single by means two and then let's say you have x squared plus x plus one there are three terms we call it a trinomial okay try Tri means two. Bicycle. Bicycle by means two wheel. Tri tri means two. So this x minus k is a binomial. Binomial. So for synthetic division, you we can only divide, we can only take a polynomial divided by a binomial. So let's say um this is uh, x uh, x squared plus x minus k, then we cannot use synthetic division. So what is the difference? Synthetic division, we use coefficient only. It is uh, The work is much cleaner, but the dis disadvantage is that only works for binomial. So for the dividend, you have the fourth power. The third power is missing. You have square, the first power is missing, and then you have a, a, a negative 5. So when you write this, you have to prepare this, something like that, x to the fourth, and then plus the third power is missing and then you have the second power the fourth power is missing and then you have minus five you have this divided by a binomial x plus two so let's uh complete that let me use uh let me use uh which color should i use let's use a uh, yellow so you have zero x to the third right and then plus zero x squared you have to uh, complete the, the missing degree. Now, for binomial, for uh, synthetic division, we only need to use the coefficient. So for the coefficient, the dividend, we have a 1, right? Oh, this is a 1. We should put a 1 right here. So we have a 1, 0, 3, 0, minus 5. And then this is divided by x minus k, but we have a plus 2. So in that case, k is equal to negative 2. So we have to prepare something like that. We have a negative 2 because we have a positive that must be an the so when you put it on the synthetic division you have to use negative two uh don't make mistakes on this it is so easy to forget the plus and minus issue don't make a mistake and then what what else we draw a big l like that okay i should just like draw an l okay and then the dividend you have a coefficients one zero three zero and then negative five. Now you pull the one down and then you take this one, multiply negative two, one times negative two is equals to negative two. And then you have a zero for a long division V minus, for synthetic division V plus. So zero plus negative two equals to negative two. And then you have negative two times negative two equals to past the four. Three plus four is equals to seven. And then you have a 7 times negative 2, negative 14, 0 plus negative 14. And then negative 14 times negative 2, you have a positive 28. And then negative 5 my plus 28 is equals to 23. And then how do we write the final answer? So I'm going to pull this down uh, for more space right here. Okay, so we need this for the for the quotient and then the 23 is a remainder so this 23 is a remainder i'm going to do like it join circle and then remainder i will just work from the back so first thing first i will just add a 23 the color doesn't match i will add a 23 so add 23 divided by the divisor which is x plus 2 and then uh what about the rest these are the coefficients of the quotient we start from the right we go from right to left we have a minus 14 and then a plus 7 x square and then a minus 2 x to the third and then a x to the x to the wait, wait, wait. zero power the first power is missing let's start all over again so we start at the constant and then the 7 is the first power plus 7 x and then the negative 2 is second power negative 2 x square and then the 1 is the third power x to the third power and then this 
whatever I gave you is equal to this. Let's box that. And this is my final answer. So we have dividend divided by divisor that is equal to quotient. So 1 minus 2, positive 7 minus 14, look at the degree 3, 2, 1, and 0, plus the remainder divided by the divisor. All right. Okay, moving on to the next problem. So the next problem, I'm going to move this a little bit to the left so I can write the missing degree. So the next problem, we have a x to the third in the denominator or the, as a de divisor. And then we have a 2x to the fifth. So the 4, 3, 2, 1 degree, they are all missing. So we have to add them back which is a uh, 0x to the 4th plus 0x to the 3rd plus 0x squared plus 0x and then finally v minus x. v minus x. All right, prepare the synthetic division. This is a minus k. We have a plus 3. So therefore, this is going to be a minus 3. And then we draw a big L. We have a 2 and then followed by 4, 0 and then minus 6. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and then followed by minus 6. So 2, pull the 2 down. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 0 plus negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 3. 0 plus negative 9. Negative 9 times negative 3. Did I make a mistake? Ah, what? You must be laughing. Negative 6 times negative 3. Here, negative 6 times negative 3 is neg is, oh, come on, is positive 18. 0 plus 18. 18 times negative 3. 0 plus negative 54 negative 54 times negative 3, 162 plus 0, and then 162 times negative 3, negative 486, and then negative 6 plus negative 486, we have negative 492, and then here is the remainder, right? So here is the remainder, and then the rest, they are the coefficient of the quotient. Okay, let's start at the remainder and then we work our way back. So we have a minus 492. I will just write a minus 492 divided by the divisor. Uh, you can put the mi minus up. Minus 492 divided by uh, x plus 3. And then you work your way back. And then this is always a plus. We let the minus and the plus do the job. So we leave the, that is always a plus. For, for minus, just put that in the numerator. Uh, 162 constant and then first degree minus 54x we are going to one of space plus minus 54x and then plus 18 x square we have to go go down here and then uh negative 6 x to the third and then plus 2 x to the fourth power so negative so we have 2x to the fourth minus 6x to the third plus 18x minus 54 plus 162 plus the remainder over the divisor. All right, this is my final answer. All right, right here. Okay, so moving on to the last problem. The last problem we have the third degree. Good, we have a second degree, but the first degree and the constant is missing. Okay, so we are. I'm, I will just do. I will just uh, modify the problem right right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to add the first degree, right? So zero x to the first, and then we add a constant. Okay, we have four. This is a four. Do you know why this is a four? How come that is not a negative four? Because we have x minus k. Look up, x minus k minus k right so we put a k right here so this is a minus four then we put a four right over there uh when i was a student i will just keep in mind that this number and this number must be opposite so we have a five negative four 
and then zero, and then a zero. Pull the five down. Five times four, twenty. Twenty plus negative four is positive sixteen. Sixteen times four, sixty-four. Add a zero. Sixty-four times four is two fifty-six. Plus zero, still two fifty-six. And then this is my. That is the coefficients of the quotient, and then the last number is the remainder, and then we start with the remainder. Two fifty six divided by the divisor x minus four, sixty four is a constant, and then sixteen belongs to the first square, and then ah、uh, the five belongs to the second power. Just do a five x square. All right, so that is my final answer. Let's box that. So before I end this video, I have to ask you one more time: What is the difference between long division and symphatic division? For symphatic division, you can only divide by more a binomial x minus four, two terms only. X minus four. That's all. That's all you can do. But if that is a x square minus four, x square minus four. Then you will have to use long division. When I was a student, ah,、uh, you have to use ah、uh, long division when you take your when you take your calculus class. Ah,、uh, you have to use that a couple of times. I always do long division. Okay, I I also teach calculus one and calculus two. You will use long division in in those two in those two classes. I will just use long division. So after this class, I will just forget about symphatic division. But you have to know that such method exists. So in calculus, just do long division. Okay, just perform long division. Okay, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I teach symphatic division, give me a thumbs up. Or subscribe, and I will meet you all in the next lesson for more exciting lessons. Signing out.